Hi friends, we'll try to prepare a task list where we'll be different uh, displaying different different tasks. So user can uh, give mark it as completed or pending or can change the status also. Now first we'll learn how this task, uh, the checkbox associated with the text, we can change it to different color and uh, its style. And then we'll learn how this task list can be generated using different sources. It can be from a uh, say Excel file or a CSV file or from a SQLite database or from MySQL database or even it can be taken from a Google sheet. So the tasks are fed to the sources and you can uh, at the front end you can manage with the Kinter window. And then also in the third part or in more parts we will integrate the dates to it. So you can select a date task or you can change the date from a calendar and list out the all the tasks. We will see all about this. We'll start with this basic template and we'll slightly refresh our memory on our check buttons. How to, how the, what are the options, how to use it, we'll see. So for that first, let's, I'm just declaring a Boolean variable, TK. Why I'm using a Boolean variable? Because mostly a checkbox will have two states, true and false. So that, that is why you can even use a string variable if you want a different way. But here it is mostly a true false situation so we'll go by that so boulevard boolean variable i am using now this is i just declared it not yet used ck this is my check button tk dot check button my parent window is my underscore w as line number two we have used it now what's the text to associate with this check button this is where our task will be uh, will be listing out so my task number one let's say this much only here it should be so that much text I am just adding it now after this let me one important thing is let's come to next line here I am declaring a variable what is this variable this variable what I have declared at line number four is B so this variable will hold the value of the check button we'll see what are the values will be available so there are two values will be there on value because when your check button is checked so we'll say true and off value of value is say false you can give a string also but will be morely depending on on and off because task is completed or not completed these are the two states so on value note that this on value will be true will be associated to this variable v whenever the check button is checked and off value when check button is not checked so it the check button will have two states on and off now let me let me give a font here but i am not used it loud right now so i am saying f normal what is this variable i have not declared it also and uh, let me just hold the value i'll say why i am using this and what is that one f normal it is a tuple i am using so i will declare it the first one what i am saying is what's the font family times Vardana or anything Calivary whatever you want you can give the list of font families what your system supports now the size of the font I am giving 22 and this is the important one so uh, what I am saying is normal or I can go for uh, I can say that it is you can go for bold italic here one of the choice here is overstrike that we will be using so what I am going to do is this value inst I can also write this f not uh, this entire tuple here in this place instead of that i am declaring a tuple and as linking it through here so font i have given slightly i'll give a fg fg means foreground color or the font color you can change it to anything let me give blue okay it has just gone outside so let me come to next line okay i have given foreground now now uh, up to this point I hope it is clear we are focusing more on this because our task management mostly depend on how this check button options and I am managing let me place it on the grid now to display it ck dot grid I will say row equal to actually I should have a top one list name is there okay row one I am saying and column equal to zero then pad y pad y means Oh, sorry let me first x equal to 10 means from the left edge how much space I am leaving and pad y let it be 25 from the top edge pad y is the top edge 
so that's all i have my grid uh, sorry my checkbox is ready now it has this part is the text note that my tax no, uh, task number one then one simple one normal font we have associated let's just see run it and see how this looks if so far things are correct or not here it is so i have that this is written because i have given foreground my foreground is blue you can see here that's why it's a blue font and i can check it also i can check and uncheck but when i am checking and unchecking i, I will see that uh, next time we'll try to program it so different font color or different uh, font style will come we'll see that let's uh, declare one more uh, font style or i will say it f done means when the job is done or the task is done that's why the name of the variable we are giving like that you can give whatever name you want same thing times i am just keeping it as a size as 22 if you want and here instead of normal i will give over strike c r s t r i k over strike means it is a strike strike through or you in the ms word also you might have seen that a line will be over the chain. now this f done in this case this will come suppose if you want that no my this thing should also add some more style we can add we can add to this we'll see that but before that understand that we have declared two here so two f normal and f done and when this is created we have so saying that use f normal so it's normal now now what happens when the check button is checked now or some some uh, you, your job is completed that means what i will do whenever you are changing link it with command so this will call a function lambda now what is our function is my update this function will write it so whenever you check it or uncheck it this function will, will be triggered so uh, we are not written we'll write it so both the cases note that that another thing you must uh, understand here see the variable let us uh, give this name as var so it will be easily we can understand this and we have declared it as a boolean variable so it will take true or false now once we are declaring this as var when uh, this variable var will hold the value true once the checkbox is checked and moment I change, uncheck it, it will become false. So anytime I can read this value and know what is the status of it. And that is why what we are going to use inside the, our function. Now let us declare this function now. So we'll say diff defining the function diff uh, my update. I am not receiving any parameter directly inside that. How I will read this value? What the checkbox status? First, my point is tell me what the status of this. It is checked or unchecked it can have two state only either it is checked or unchecked so what's the status if var dot get means i am reading the value of this one this var dot get because it's a boolean variable any string boolean or integer variable to receive the, what its value we have to use get method to set the value or to pass the value we have to use set method so that is the two things common for all string integer boolean type of variable now this equal to true that means the value is that means the check button is checked in this case what you should do is ck ck is our check button dot config what is config does is or you can write configure also both are same config does it any parameter i can change all any attributes all these attributes are there on value takes in fact everything i can change it off value font everything i can change so remember here we have a attribute here font so that i will change tck config now what i am selling saying here is font equal to f done now what this will do f done we have declared it here f done means over strike one strike line will be there and that font we are changing to f done and you can change multiple parameters also now let's say fg fg is foreground or the font color equal to now we'll say green because that says that job is done or task is completed say if it is not so the otherwise that means check button is not checked else instead of again checking i am just using because there are two states only either it will be checked or unchecked so i am doing a else part now i am saying ck dot config now font equal to f normal because why what happens something i may uncheck also i might have gone f done state 
to normal state i can bring it back so i am using f normal now again foreground equal to blue that's all now what will happen now now in this case you just see this anytime i click the button this this command will uh, this line will trigger my update function and first it will check the uh, what is the state of it checkbox is checked or not checked let's just see it rather than okay so here you see i am clicking this what happens it's strike out the, all the text is that means the job is done and i am removing it now it is back to normal so once again just try to understand this particular line command lambda equal to my update any time i check it or if it is checked i am on check it both the conditions this line will this function will be triggered by this and once i am triggered this then what happens this particular function is uh, triggered so once this function triggered inside first thing is this if condition this says that check the value if it is checked then this will be equal to true because here you read see this on value is true off value is false you can reverse it also nothing wrong you can put on value false reverse whatever way you want because this variable var we have declared it as boolean variable so it, it can have two state only true or false so that's the reason let me just open it again that's all but fine so our whatever our intention is it we have achieved we have used the uh, function so it strike out but in a real life situation or practical we don't know how many check sort task will be there i may have hundreds of tasks i may have 10 star and in a particular day i have that number of tasks i don't know i may have four tasks to do or five tasks to do so here we have fixed one check button and we changed its properties its options or whatever it was available to us now say you want that um, i have i don't know how many tasks will be there in that case the check buttons we have to create dynamically and that's what we are going to learn in our next part of it will be continuing in three to four parts so next part we'll learn about how you can create dynamically we don't know how many check buttons are there so we'll let it be three or four but the principle will remain the same and one more thing as i told you i will do that say i want that uh, this over strike also should change it to italic sorry here that part i will just explain to you before we close this and move to the next part over strike and here I am using a another tuple inside this. So let's see. This this will change two things. It will it will over strike and then italic will be used. Let's see that how it will be. You can see that. So if you want, it should be bold or go on adding that one. So multiple styles also I can apply to that. That's all. Next part we will see that dynamically. Then we will pull the data in the third part. We will pull the data from different sources like from database and all. They are once the someone has checked this suppose this task is completed i have clicked this then my database also should update we'll learn stage by stage all this uh that's all we'll stop here and we'll move to the next and i will just request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we'll be frequently adding and next part also we'll add and please share this with your friends and if you have any doubt suggestion or questions use the comment section below and we'll respond accordingly and we'll improve the script based on your feedback also thank you for watching